All right, so we're gonna make pizza dough. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just pretty simple yeast included pizza dough. Mm -hmm. First, we're gonna start off with some warm water. So we're gonna take this bowl over here. Mm -hmm. And it is, I believe, one and a half cups. So we're just gonna turn the water on. Right here, let it run for a little bit, get nice and warm. Not too hot, because you don't wanna kill your yeast. <laughs> now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our warm water. Can I help you? Here, yes, absolutely. And we're gonna put a tablespoon of yeast in there. Okay. Oh, that's that too much. And I, I'm not too finicky about measurements. I just, you know, say put it on there. So go ahead and sprinkle that on there, or or dump it. If you dump it on there like that, what you want to do is go ahead and take a, a spoon or a fork and just kind of you know fluff the water. Get it all kind of mixed in there and everything else. You know, kind of get it broken up. Now what I like to do to speed it along, people will disagree. But I like to take a little bit of sugar like this. Okay. And not a lot. I mean just just you know a little bit just and just sprinkle it in there. Yeah. Not quite a full oh, tablespoon. It just really gets the yeast going like that. And so, just kind of mix that up a little bit. Set that off to the side for about five minutes while you're getting some of your other and, uh, ingredients sure all good and dry. Set. We're gonna do three and a half cups of white flour. Hey, thanks, bud. Thanks. So, it's take, a part of it. take one and just fill up the other. You almost dumped it in my eyes. Okay, so here's one. Teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Two. Three. Three. And... Three and a half yeah. cups of flour. That's a lot. Okay. All right. So now that we've got our flour here, I need the boy with the little hands to kind of make a mountain of it. Can you? Can you push it all into a mountain? Push it all in the middle. There you go. Just like this. So you yep. want? Yep. Make sure it's a nice mound. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be too precise on it. But okay. Good job. What you want to do is then. Kind of destroy your mountain by making a little hole right in the top. Right in the top. You want it to be pretty decent sized. You know, just kind of, just like that. Okay, I don't know if you can make that out. Just like that. Okay, and then you want to take your water. See? See, and now we're getting some good bubbles in there. That's just what you want. Make sure you get that yeast off the sides and uh, really mixed up in there. You know, make sure it's all good and mixed up. We're going to take this yeast and water sugar mixture and just pour that right, right into the middle. Just like that. If it runs out, that's fine. That's fine. It's not going to, it's not going to really hurt anything at all. All we're going to do is put a little tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil right in the middle of the hole along with everything else. Now I'm a big fan of the olive oil. Now what we're going to do, I like to actually take, and some people disagree with this, but I like a little bit of garlic so, I mean, leaf and this, some green in. onions. It's right out of the garden. So we're going to rinse them off in some cold water. Make sure there's no dirt above them. I personally find it delicious. You want to go through and make sure 
there's not really any bad stuff. Nothing that's rotten. No dried is okay, but there's nothing that's molded or, or anything like that. And what I like to do, just take this like this. Yeah, you don't want to cut your fingers. Daddy. Yeah. Do you remember what you said when you made that twin bud? No. Nope. No starving for you, my friends. That's right. No starving for you, my friends. <laughs> And I, I really like to go in and, and dice this up fine. Real fine, just like this. Real nice and fine. Mm -hmm. We got some delicious food. Mm. So, as you can see, we just chop it up real fine. I mean, we're talking nice. tiny, tiny. So bring this over here, and I'll just scrape that right into the dough. That'll, that'll cook in real nice. Can I like put of, this in the pan, Dad? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what this is about. We're going to cook this in the cast iron. And a whole, and a little one, and a large one, and a big one. We're going to put it in as many as we need to. Okay. And I like to take a little bit of garlic with the... With the fork. I do that. Now this is this is minced garlic, really really fine um, crushed garlic. So we put that in there. Not a lot, just enough to give it some flavor. Bring everything out. Then I like to use a little bit of Kroger Italian seasoning, right in the crust. It'll cook in there real nice. There we go. Like I said, you don't have to measure a lot. It's it's pretty much your taste of what you like, uh, what you like to do. All right. Daddy, what? What? What do we got? Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a nice little bird in the backyard picking for bugs, picking for bugs. I don't have a problem with that at all. It keeps them out of my garden. Yeah. So then what we're going to do, we're just going to take a spatula. Oh, like Dad. this. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of mix all of these Josh ingredients G. together. Alright, now I'm going to have my assistant help me out. If he can focus. We're going to go ahead and just use our hands and turn this into a nice dough. So go ahead and just kind of squeeze it up like that. Go ahead. Yeah, it's sticky. It's pizza dough. It yeah. sticks. So, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Good job. Wow. All right. Can we wash our hands now? <laughs> Here, scrape it on the side of the bowl. It's not coming off. Yeah, it's not coming off. Mm, that is a fabulous smelling pizza dough. Uh, I really wish that uh, they... You know, in, in some cases, of course, it would be bad in a lot of cases, but I really wish they kind of had this. smell of vision because I hate this sad. It'd be great. Here, let me help. Ah. You. They're digging on my fingers again. Yeah, it happens. It's okay. There you go. I can't eat there you go. You can go wash your hands. Some people don't like it when it sticks to your hands. If, if that's the case, you can always use um, gloves or. You know, you can do a little extra um, oil. I don't think it works as well with uh, extra oil. But uh, we've, got, we've got a good dough going on here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and kind of make a nice little ball here that I can turn out. So we're going to take this and just fluff it up just like this. Real nice. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and uh, I'm gonna clean my hands off just, just a little bit. Now, what I like to do, and 
it's really a personal preference. Um, I use white flour for the dough, but when we turn it out, we're going to use a little bit of wheat flour because I think it just adds that that extra nice uh, nutritional uh, value plus some really good flavor. All right. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead. We're going to take our pizza dough. You want to go ahead and set this in the sink for me, son? All right. Now what you want to do is just go ahead and turn it out on your um, floured surface. Whether you use whole wheat flour or white flour, it doesn't matter. But uh, just go ahead and knead it and, and keep turning it until it no longer do you need sticks. A thing? No, we don't need a rolly thing, not yet. Just tell it no longer is, is really sticky and just let it kind of soak up some more flour. So we're just going to keep um, flouring the surface until we get to that point. Let me see. They're going to keep flouring the surface. Okay. <laughs> a All surface right. is and Actually, I think it's about there. Because as you can see, it's actually starting to take um, some of the cake down flour off of my hands and it's not really sticking uh, anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and just punch it down a little bit, fold it once more and make a nice ball. Because you can, you can in fact knead it too much and make it tough and, and part of the reason it gets tough I think is because you get too much flour in there and it starts absorbing a lot more moisture so there's what a ball right there. Oh pizza. I'm making pizza? Right. Yeah. Make so we're letting it dry. Yep yeah, with a good dry bowl dry we're it. gonna go ahead and just put a drizzle of olive oil in there and would you mind uh, smearing that around in that bowl for me? Yes, Daddy. Make sure you get all up on the sides and stuff too. Uh, this one. Three thirty. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Now so you just yeah, go ahead and wash your hands. So as you can see, you just get the olive oil. You know, lightly coated all over the bowl. You know, you want it all kind of coated for this. And it, it really works nice when you get the bowl coated just right. Okay. So now we have our bowl, and it's going to go right into the bowl. Now we want a nice, a nice ball with some good smooth surfaces. So what I like to do actually is just turn it like this. Kind of mush everything together but make a nice smooth surface on top. So we're just going to set that right there right in our bowl. Now what I like to do is take a little knife and Make a few cuts right across the top. That way it can really swell when it's um, rising. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to cover this up just like this and we're going to set it in a warm place, which for me happens to be the garage right in front of our window. So that's where we're going to set it and uh, we'll be right back in about an hour and a half to two hours and we'll check this dough and see if it's dough inside. 